How's it going everybody? Going to do a quick video on systematic theology recommendations. I recommend if you are Reformed, if you're coming uh, newly into Reformed theology, uh, that you first read John Calvin's Institutes of the Christian Religion. There are several classical uh, works that I have here on my bookshelf, The Decades of Henry uh, Bullinger, uh, Theoretical Practical the uh, Theology by Van Maastricht, and uh, there will be seven volumes when this one's completed, uh, published by Reformation Heritage Books. All five of these are. And then uh, The Institutes of Christian Religion by John Calvin come in from many different publishers. This one's the Erdman's edition. Uh, but I do recommend starting with John Calvin. Uh, some of these other classical ones, um, I don't think that maybe they're your next go-to, but there are definitely good resources. Uh, Calvin's Institutes are going to be arranged a little bit differently than most modern systematic theologies. The Decades of Henry Bullinger are going to be more sermon-based, uh, exposition of the Ten Commandments, the Apostles' Creed, um, etc. And then uh, you start to get to maybe a little bit more of the modern classification of uh, uh, flow of systematic theologies with uh, prolegomena. Uh, we talk about God in the second volume, and, you know, the works of God in the fall of man. Uh, this actually starts with faith in the triune God. So you can see how Van Maastricht maybe has a little bit more of uh, a modern classification scheme and the Puritans and everybody in the uh, post-Puritan era uh, in Reformed theology really focus more on uh, sort of what we are more familiar with with our modern classification. Uh, I'll skip John Murray's series up here for now. Just kind of go down to another shelf that I have here. Uh, I have just the series by Wilhelmus Albrockel, The Christian's Reasonable Service. You can see, as I said earlier, you get kind of more of this familiar classification scheme. We're starting with God, man, and Christ, moving to the church and salvation, the law, so basically Christian ethics, the law and Christian graces, the Lord's Prayer, ending with ethics and eschatology. Also, would highly recommend uh, Turretin. Uh, Going to be very difficult read for most folks, so maybe not your go-to. Uh, for the first thing that you would read, if you're coming into uh, Reformed theology, new to um, you know this way of interpreting the Bible, I think that Francis Turretin maybe a little bit more advanced. The language is a little bit older than uh, probably what you're familiar with, um, but definitely a great resource. I would recommend picking it up. Uh, the three-volume series is not that expensive. Gerhardus Voss is uh, definitely Voss I recommend um, picking up, but again, probably going to be a little bit more advanced. Um, he does use Greek uh, occasionally throughout his writings and doesn't always uh, transliterate it. So if you don't have at least an elementary knowledge of Greek, maybe a little bit more advanced for you. Um, I have the one-volume summary of Herman Bavink, uh, The Wonderful Works of God, as well as uh, this was a summary of the Reformed Dogmatics uh, summarized by another author, but uh, it is Herman Bavink. And I don't have his four-volume set. We'll probably obtain in the future, but also going to be more of an, of an advanced uh, sort of option there. And then on the end here, can't see it all that well. I have uh, Burkhoff's Systematic Theology. Uh, there we go. It's also going to be a great resource. Probably one of the first ones that I would recommend reading. So if you have Calvin and Burkhoff, I think uh, you, you're going to start off pretty well uh, with these two. Some other ones that I have. Uh, Millard Erickson has some different views on things, but a decent series. Also, same with Wayne Grudem. Many people start here. Uh it's kind of simplistic in some areas, kind of, but does give you, uh, you know, for a one volume systematic, it's pretty good. He's going to come from like a Reformed, Baptist, uh, but also continuationist viewpoint. So we're going to differ there. And his views of the Trinity and uh, the Godhead in general, he has some issues there that I see in his theology. Uh, Robert Raymond, also a pretty decent uh, one volume systematic theology. I don't agree with uh, Raymond on everything. He's going to fall more in like a Gordon Clark uh, type of framework with how he sees, um, you know, univicism versus uh, analogy in our knowledge of the things of God. Michael Horton writes a very good uh, systematic one volume here. It's not going to be your typical arrangement. He definitely writes it more in a narrative flow, but it's, it's advanced uh, theology and I think a pretty good work here. Uh, probably now to some of the, the better works that I think you would start off with. I've got volume one off my shelf, but I think anything that Joel Beakey has written is, is wonderful, honestly. I've not found 
any areas really of disagreement I have with him. So uh, this, uh, his Reformed Systematic Theology, which will be complete in four volumes, there are now three volumes out. I would recommend this. He doesn't use a lot of uh, Greek that's not transliterated. I mean, anybody who's coming into Reformed uh, understanding of the faith will appreciate how simplistic uh, this is, but also very in-depth. And uh, I use that word simplistic, prob not in a pejorative sense, but just the fact that he takes so much time to explain himself, explain what the historic orthodox views of things are, uh, and just goes to scripture. There's so many scriptural references in Joel Beakey's work. Um, he's going to use you know, plain language as well as advanced theological terms, and really just a good teaching, systematic theology. Primarily uses the King James Version. Um, also, there are, is some ESV in this as well, as well as the original Hebrew and Greek, but most of the time that's going to be transliterated. And uh, a good read if you're coming into Reformed Theology. I think probably the most thorough as well as easiest to read systematic theology that I've ever come across. I think some of his other ones, the Puritan Theology as well as his Puritan Reformed Theology, which is a collection of his writings, this is more of a summary of what the Puritans had taught in a systematic form. I think these are going to be a little bit more difficult, but also highly accessible. So I think as for as far as orthodoxy and accessibility, you cannot beat anything that Joel Beakey has written when it comes to systematic theology. So if you can only get three, I would recommend Joel Beakey, uh, John Calvin, and then Louis Burkhoff's systematic theology. And I think you'll be set uh, for a, a lot, lifetime of growth, really, in understanding the scriptures, understanding systematic theology. So those are my recommendations. Let me know what you think in the comments.